Hey guys, it is Friday here in West Virginia, and it is time for us to do our Free It Friday, and it's going to be another Free It Friday funny car video. And uh, as a lot of you may know, I mentioned it in the videos before, that I kind of went back to my roots. I'm collecting just Mopars and old race cars, mostly drag racing stuff. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of that on my channel here in the future. Uh, today we're taking a look at the original drag strip demons from 2009-2010. We're taking a look at the Corvettes that were released in that series, or those two series. There was a 30 car set in 09 and a 25 car set in 10. Uh, with the Corvette casting, there were two of them released in... 09 and 1 and 10. The uh, casting is just kind of the same casting that we had when we were kids. Well, when I had when I was a kid. Uh, back in the early 80s. I think the casting was released in the late 70s when the car was debuted. Um, and the most popular one is this guy here. But not as detailed. And it was a black wall variant back in probably, I don't know, 78, 79, something like that. Um, and then the casting was retooled in 2009. Well, 2008 would be the copyright, if we could see it on the bottom. Yeah, you could probably see it a little bit up here, near the front wheel. It's 2008, so 2008. And we all know the original Corvette came, back, came out back in the late 70s or early 80s. I remember I had a few of them, uh, the silver one, just like this, the English leather mongoose, and then the maroon, well, the maroon one with the bird on it was the firebird one, um, but there was another vet that I remember having, can't recall, but I do remember the silver with black mongoose English leather. So, uh, they retooled a few castings, actually, the Cuda funny car, the Mongoose, um, uh, Duster funny car, and then this Corvette. The Cuda and the Duster are, like, totally new castings, actually. I don't even think they retooled it, because they kept the original casting from the late 60s, and then they made new ones for their premium lineups here in the early... 2000s, and then they retooled the VET. The VET, I think, is a retool. It's not a whole new casting. It just was kind of um, manicured, massaged to make it look more realistic. So, uh, anyways, um, this is number 6 of 30, and a lot of you guys probably seen pics of these on my IG or my FB. Um, a few weeks ago, see, I kind of try to open them where you can't even tell they were open, just in case I want to display them once again when, with them on the card, hang them on the wall or something later on, but I like them loose in the display case where I could take them out and do videos on them or do some photo shots with them whenever I want, so it's cool to have them open. So, as you can see, it looks really good with these five-spoke wheels and all of the defined curves of the Corvette body. It looks really, really good. The mongoose there on the hood. Tail light tampos. They could have used to have detailed the parachute in black, but hey, I'm not going to complain too much, because it's a great looking car. They did the front tampos, just like it would have been on the funny car, just like some airbrushed pieces or stickers that they put on this fiberglass body to make it look more realistic. Side exit headers. And your flip up body, it has more detail than it originally did. Body prop. Very cool car. And once again, as you can see up front there, it does say 2008. And uh, as I said, it was a retool in 08. It could be a whole new casting, but I think the vet was just a retool, which is pretty much a whole new casting. <laughs> so the 
second vet of 2009 Drake Strip Demons is probably the most popular one, the most valuable one of the three from both sets. This is your Bruce Larson's USA One Corvette. And I just did a, a photo of, I should say, I just took a photo of all three Larson's USA One cars uh, for Instagram from Drake Strip Demons. The Vet, the Camaro, and the Monza. Uh, we've unboxed the Camaros probably, I don't know, a month ago. For you guys, all four from the Drake Strip Demon series. So if you'd like to see those, check out the archives. It's there somewhere. And this one here I just love. I love the airbrush mural in the back window. It's really cool. You can see it better once we get it off the card. Um, but yeah, this is a sweet, sweet piece. And these are getting harder to find for a reasonable price. A lot of people also feel the same way I do about this one. And you can see in this case, there was Bruce Larson's USA 1 Corvette. A 70 Camaro funny car. I'm not sure who that was. It was like gangrene or I don't think it was the USA 1. Um, but it probably was gangrene or the Nicholas Road Boys, something like that. Mill Road Boys, I should say. Steve Nichols Mill Road Boys. Then there was the 74 English Leather Plymouth Duster. That's the red and white striped one. And then Don Prudhomme's Army Snake Vega. The Vega casting, I don't have any of the funny car. It's pretty cool. Those I will try to obtain someday. And we'll do a video on them. Like we have done with the Camaros, the Cudas dusters and so forth uh so let's get this guy off the car and look at him a little closer and anyways as you can see it's got a really cool mural in the back window and i don't th think it's city no it is your nuclear power station and so that's pretty cool and as you can see, it has a picture of the vet there doing a burnout, flame shooting out the headers, and it says USA 1, I don't know if that says survives, TMI, I'm not sure. Sorry guys, my eyes are not what they used to be. But cool mural, and you can see that they even have the cutouts. Well, they did this in the black wall. Vet 2, they had the cutout for the roof flap. It doesn't function, of course. The paint job on these cars, the USA 1s, all three of them have a very heavy pearl. They look fantastic in the sun. Actually, <clears throat> the a couple of them have such a heavy pearl that it almost gives the color of the car, the white, like a yellow hue to it. So, really cool piece. Once again, you got the front end tampos, USA 1 with a couple eagles, your stars and stripes, co-sponsors, Mr. Gasket, Mallory, and so forth on the bottom, tail light tampos, and they did paint the parachute on this one, all right. So maybe that's why they didn't do it on this one, because they're giving the parachute a silver cover, and since the car is silver, well, there would be no point. So pretty cool. Now moving along to the single one that was in the 2010-25 car set, which was number 7 of 25, is the Mongoose English Leather once again. This, though, is in a yellow and blue two-tone separated with a red and white stripe. Uh, pretty cool paint job. And... Anyways, it has a different wheel on it, kind of like a centerline style wheel. And let's get him off the card and look at him real close. So, there is the 2010 variant number 7 of 25. Mongoose English Leather. And it's riding on center lines, a little different than the other ones. 
and it's yellow, blue, two-tone with a red and white stripe. Pennzoil and a couple other co-sponsors, Goodyear and so forth, on the side here. Does have a clear back window like the other one. So really cool. Pop-up bodies with your body props and a plastic. But I just like looking at them closed and setting them down there. They look really sleek as this Corvette funny car. It's really hard to beat this casting. I think that's why the Corvette USA 1 has become more popular than the Camaro USA 1. Just because of those curves and contours of the body is really sexy on this car. Um, so guys, that's it for our funny car free at Friday with the drag strip demons Corvettes. We'll be back. I don't know, maybe over the weekend with something else. If not, we'll be back for sure on Monday to do our Mopar Monday. And we have a lot of stuff in store for you guys. We got some Johnny lightning challengers. We have a funny car and we have a stock I think TA Challenger or something like that. And then we have some green light muscle from the early 2000s. Some of their first releases of the Charger and Daytona. We have more Drag Strip Demons. Uh, and then we have the Will Variants, finally, of the Drag Strip Demons. I got those in. Maybe that's what we'll take a look at on Monday. To show you guys the different will variations that were available with the drag strip demons. There were only two cars that I'm aware of that had a will variant on it. And I've got both of them with their standard versions. And maybe we'll bring all those back out and take a look at them on Monday. So be sure to tune back in for that. And I will probably talk to you on Monday if not over the weekend. Have a nice weekend guys.